Bringing Christ to the Nations and the Nations to the Church. Daily Devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Saturday, July 10th, 2021. In our defense. The devotion for today comes from The Devil's Latest Snare, a sermon excerpt from Rev. Dr. Wallace Schultz, former speaker of the Lutheran Hour. Our text for today comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. And we also thank God constantly for this, that when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of men, but as what it really is, the word of God, which is at work in you believers. This is the word of the Lord. How can a person defend himself or herself against the devil? Thank God in his mercy, he does not expect you and me to search in vain for the answer to this crucial question. You see, there is no greater assurance for followers of the Lord Jesus Christ in their struggle against the devil than the words of the Apostle John when he says, He who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. This means, greater is the Lord Jesus Christ who lives in you by God's gift of faith than the devil who is in the world. O oh, friends, let God be the gatekeeper of your heart. Even when the devil sought permission from God to hassle Job, the Bible says, And the Lord said to Satan, Behold all that he has in your hand. Only against him do not stretch out your hand. By God's word, the devil was stopped in his tracks, and, therefore, the Bible says, So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Dr. Martin Luther knew the only completely effective weapon against the devil is God's living and life-giving word. And, in the preface to his large catechism, Luther says, Nothing is so effectual against the devil, the world, and the flesh, and all evil thoughts, than when one occupies oneself with the word of God. For the sake of your soul, talk about the Word of God. Meditate on the Word of God. This will drive away the devil. Psalm 1 calls blessed all those who meditate day and night on God's Word. This is why God's living Word is so vital for you and your children. In His Word, God lifts up your heart. He fortifies your soul. God's Word fills you with protection against the wiles of the enemy. Greater is the crucified and resurrected Christ who lives in you by God's gift of faith than the devil who is outside of you trying to ruin your life and destroy your soul. When you struggle with temptation, remember the words of the Apostle Paul, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, fill us with the protecting power of Christ's resurrection. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen.